Hi, Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today is the 12th of March 2020, the first day of the Corona lockdown of Denmark. So I thought I would grab a little uh, video project that I wanted to do for, yeah, since I got this uh, last year. It is a catalog of uh, EMC sensors, test and uh, measuring equipment, um, power supplies, loggers, oscilloscopes and such. And I marked up a few of the sections where it deals with high voltage gear because I noticed that this is just a piece of advertisement I was given. So I thought, okay, that will just go in the trash, but I'll just keep it for the fun of it. But when I browsed through it, I noticed there is a lot of apparatuses and manufacturers that are not well known to people interested in high voltage. I got the catalog from the company Blickfeld AS, which is a Danish reseller of many, many different apparatuses. Now, the first ones I want to show you is uh, Siebe KMT and the Megger, which are burners. These are used to find um, high resistance uh, failures on the uh, cables. So you simply just push enough power through the uh, the cable at a high enough voltage so you can knock through the possible defects inside the cable to the outside world and you can yeah do a proper burn so you can actually detect the um, the fault current to ground with a radar equipment uh, that you can also find in this catalog these go uh, up in the ranges you can see we started with a uh, small two kilovolt this is 3, 6 and 12 kilovolt. It can deliver up to 2 kilojoule of energy. We can see that they can test with a kilovolt voltage at up to 32 kilovolt and deliver almost 4 kilojoule of energy. 100 plus kilograms for these uh, machines. Very nice stuff. And as you can see, it comes with these uh, microphones where you simply go and you listen to the arc over that happens in the ground. Now it has a uh, some smaller uh, mobile as well, 3, 4 and 12 kilovolt. Gives up to 500 joules, 1500 joule, up to 16 kilovolt. These are made by Mega. Um, here we have some of the largest uh, SEPA kit mobile but you can see mobile mobile it's 164 up to 252 kilograms and that does up to 32 kilovolt and at three and a half kilojoule again you can get so large units that you simply have a high voltage generator sitting inside a car here so you buy a complete measuring um, car from Sepakit Megger. And what is the stats of this? Hmm. It's not so detailed unless we go over here. But it can measure up to 32 kilovolt. But how much energy, 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 energy? Mm. But what's rather nice about something like this is it has a reach of almost 1300 kilometers. That's one hell of a distance to send out a pulse to, to find. And it just goes on with their most powerful measuring equipment here. It can deliver up to 2 kilojoule, again out to 1300 kilometers. But this is more like a measurement thing than a burn through as this uh, has uh, some frequencies. It can send for with 200 watts at 491 hertz, 982 or 8440 kilohertz and then you can track the cables with external microphone and gear again some poles to uh, discharge high voltage again this is the same smaller apparatuses 
for uh, looking for earth fault currents in defective cables. Now the first few ones, that's mobile. Now it gets interesting when it starts looking like Tesla coils. So 25 kilovolt uh, high voltage test set, 40 kilovolt. Again, these are from Seba KMT and Mega. Now, if we get over to these uh, machines here, we have 0 to 100 kilovolt RMS AC at uh, 50 hertz. So that's a large mains uh, transformer, high voltage mains transformer. Uh, and there's a smaller unit going up to 35 kilovolt AC. Now, it has different versions here, which basically just is 0 to 70 or up to the 120 kilovolt rating. Down here we have a smaller, not smaller, that's bigger. It can pull out one kilowatt or one kVA uh, at 150 kilovolt AC or 80 kilovolt DC. And you can see it's isolated with SF6 gas inside the transformer tower here. And as we move on, they just get bigger and bigger. Now this is just deliciously. Look at that. Large domes, isolated connectors, up to 200, 650 or 800 kilovolt DC test equipment. And it can supply 200 milliamps of short circuit current. That's one hell of an energy level at 800 kilovolt. Kilo now we are into the EMC section. So here it is generally the EMC uh, test sets. That's interesting. Here we have some ESD simulators that can inject 16.5 kilovolts and 30 kilovolt. And this is all made into a held, handheld unit from Schlöder. Um, interesting that you can test your, um, yeah, so let's say you design a small circuit like this robot car, and you want to test the EMC compatibility of this up amp, well, then you just take your apparatus, inject some high voltage uh, transients into the circuit and see if it survives. If it does not, well, you do not have enough protection against what you are injecting it to. And that does, of course, also go up in power and sizes. So we can also go over to the automated test stands, have uh, control uh, panels to do three-phased ESD tests, burst generators, hybrid generators, all kinds of uh, transient and uh, mains noise simulation apparatuses here. Also interruption and uh, re um, reconnect from mains. Uh, supply. No uh, catalog would be complete without some Glassman high voltage power supplies. All kinds of shapes and sizes. From 0 to 1 to 0 to 60 kilovolt comes in the yeah, regular configurations as just a normal module or you have the 19 inch rack uh, power supplies that goes in the same voltage range. And as we move up, we have larger and larger power output, 600 volts, uh, 600 watt at 60 kilovolts. And as we move up, 1200 volt, 1500 watt, 2000 watt, 2000 watt. But this goes up to 150 kilovolt. Comes in at just 19 kilograms. And that makes me think that these are based on something like air cord re um, resonators, uh, like I have seen in some uh, smaller uh, Glassman um, power supplies. But we are not even done yet. Look at this. Now we are talking serious voltage multiplier setups. And as we move on, here is the 3 kilowatt uh, unit. That just goes up to 1500 volt, so that's again the medium voltage range. And just look at that, 25 kilovolt of 
regulated DC power supply, 1 to 100 kilovolt, that's insane. 35 amp per phase, 3 phased 400 volt AC input. Wow. And just look at the uh, regulation uh, presented, 0.01%. Wow. That's one magnificent piece of equipment there. Now we're moving up into the ranges of their lot, just uh, commercial and not custom uh, made power supplies here. 10 kilowatt, 40 kilowatt, but look at this, 8 kilowatt. Okay, so it's a multiplier stack. Not, that's not as big as the others here, but this can get put in parallel up to 40 kilowatt of power. It even has a larger series of 60 kilowatt. Can output a good kilojoule per machine. And it even says here there is possibility to manufacture larger versions than the 60 kilowatt on demand. Insane. If only money wasn't an issue, all we had was glass mount power supplies. What I really wanted to show here was just this also transformer. Just look at that. Three times 700 volt, 750 kilogram, can do up to 192 amps. Or you can get the 500 amp version as well. Seems they just keep stacking and stacking and building around, depending on how much power you want. Insane. Thank you for watching. I hope you got a uh, little introduction to some interesting high voltage equipment you can buy if you have enough money. And let's just round this off with some wishes for some new lab benches or technical workplaces. See anything you like? Well, you just ordered it from Elabo. So, until next time, see ya.